I'll be presenting a short overview of RTI Connext and the evolution of connectivity in today's data-driven world. As computers were first networked, the communication needs were simple. Needs require simple connections. Adding new systems is easy at first, but as the number of connected systems increases, the complexity increases, eventually dominating the system. A first-order solution is to add a broker at the center of the communication subsystem, maintaining all connections between nodes. Although the addition of new nodes is a predictable task, this creates a single point of failure and can face scalability issues. As an improvement to the central broker, we have a central pub sub broker. This negates the need for explicit connections through the broker and instead allows an easier addition of new nodes. This does not solve the problem of a central point of failure and requires a great deal of development in the application layer to utilize data moving through the broker. Connext, on the other hand, offers a solution that eliminates these issues using a virtual data bus, with a communication software resident on each endpoint. The central broker is eliminated and point-to-point. -point. Communication can be established through a process of discovery and addition of new nodes is now predictable and essentially linear. Now, let's take a look at how DDS works. All of these nodes are existing on the system, and after discovery application, one begins sending data to application 3 and application 4. Application 2 also sends data to application 3 and application 4. Then a new application comes into the system. This application begins subscribing to some of the original data and provides its own data back to the rest of the system. Now, in this image, we see different applications each running on different systems, but it doesn't have to be the case. Each of these applications could be running on different systems or all on the same system. The sensor in application 2 and the actuator in application 3 could be controlled by the same piece of hardware. But these applications communicate with each other the same way, regardless of how the actual system is architected. Applications existing on the same hardware communicate at the application layer the same way as applications that exist across a network. Now, what we were showing before was what we call best effort communication. The back end of DDS uses UTP communication, which is fast and simple. But if we need to communicate reliably, then additional communication layer logic is required. In this case, application 4 requires that its data comes in reliably. So what it does is send an acknowledgement back to all other applications that provided data. If an acknowledgement is not acquired by one of these applications, they'll resend the samples to make sure it gets to the application that needs it. We can also do filtering in the communications layer. This helps move logic that was normally in the application layer down so that you can focus on the application itself and not how the data gets to your application. So in this case, application 2 is publishing data on the blue topic but application 3 and application 4 need the data in different ways. So in this case, we're using a time-based filter for application 3. This could be because the actuator is running a control loop and the control loop only requires data at a very specific rate, the rate to the control loop, so there's no need to bring it in any quicker. Application 4 could be using some type of a content filter. Let's say that it is a altimeter or a radar control and it only wants to know if a data point or a piece of data is within a specific range, such as an altitude or a distance. Normally, all this logic would have to exist in the application layer, but with RTI Connects, you can move that logic into the communications layer and simplify your system as a whole, again, allowing you to focus on the application logic that matters to your system. That concludes this presentation on the introduction of RTI Connects. Thank you very much. Please visit us at our website as we invite you to download a fully functional trial of Connects today. Have a great day.